Welcome back to the Mentor Center. In today's video, we're going to answer the question, is CO2, commonly known as carbon dioxide, a polar or nonpolar molecule? Let's get started by drawing the Lewis dot structure. Carbon dioxide has two oxygen atoms. Each oxygen atom has six electrons, and since we have two of them, we have 12 electrons from the oxygens. Then we have the carbon atom, and that is four electrons. So we have a total of 16 valence electrons to work with. If any of this feels unfamiliar, please be sure to check out my video on Lewis dot structures. Now let's start by drawing this molecule. Carbon is the central atom because it's the least electronegative element in this molecule. And bonded to it, we have two oxygen atoms. We're going to start off by connecting them using single bonds, each of them representing two electrons. So we have a total of four electrons used up. That leaves us with 12 more that we need to use for the remaining three elements. So let's start by filling in the octets for the surrounding oxygen atoms. For this oxygen atom right here, we're going to put in one, two, three, four, five, six electrons to fill its octet. For the second oxygen atom, we'll add another six valence electrons to fill its octet. We just used up six plus six, which makes 12 electrons, which is how many we had left over. So now we've run out of electrons, but we can see here that our carbon atom does not have its octet filled. An easy way to fix this is to turn a lone electron pair into a bond. Not only does this give atoms another pair of electrons to fill their octets, but it also lets the atom losing the lone pair keep its octet. Let me show you. I'll remove a lone pair from this oxygen atom right here, and I'll convert it into a bond. This gives the central carbon atom another pair of electrons, but it hasn't taken any of the electrons away from the oxygen atom that it needed for its octet. However, we can see that this hasn't solved the problem entirely because the carbon atom still has six electrons from the eight that it needs. So we can do the same thing that we did before on the right oxygen atom. So I'm gonna take away a lone electron pair and convert it into another bond. So you can see the oxygen atom still has its octet because it has two lone pairs and two bonds, giving it a total of eight electrons. But now what we've done is given the central carbon atom two double bonds, giving it a total of eight electrons. So the octets for all three elements are fulfilled. And this is the final structure of carbon dioxide. I'm going to redraw it over here on the side. We know that oxygen carbon bonds are polar because the difference in electronegativity values is greater than 0.4. If you need a refresher on electronegativity and polar bonds, be sure to check out that video in the pop-out banner. Anyway, while carbon dioxide does have two polar bonds, they cancel out perfectly with one another due to the symmetry of the molecule. So these cancel out, and as a result, carbon dioxide is a nonpolar molecule. See you guys in the next video.